Hello and welcome to the first ever Save Sci-Fi Let's Play. I am David. I will be the host of this video as nobody else is here, so I'm on my own. Anyway, today I am playing Star Trek Legacy, so let's press start and get on our way. Now, I just for the record, haven't actually played this game before. So, yeah. Apparently somebody else has on my console though. Odd. Anyway, this will be the first time playing it, so I'm going to be learning to play as I talk to you guys, so hopefully that's not too annoying. Now, honestly, I'm personally not that into Star Trek. I've watched a bit of Next Gen and the original series, and that's about it. Um, other than that, not much. So most of those ships that were popping up just then mean absolutely bubkus to me. Okay, is that me? Am I orbiting a... I don't know if that's me or not. What the hell is that thing? Whoa. Reggie, I don't have a lot of time. I've got to get back aboard Enterprise. Relax <laughs> for a minute, John. I do have orders for you, but I want to show you something before you ship out. Okay. Is it better not involve Orion slave girls? Don't worry. I read your mission report on that. No Orions, that much I can promise. Ooh, it's the NX-01. They've done some great work on it, Reggie. I hear they even managed to replace the grapplers with those new tractor beams. We've made a lot of progress in the past years here, John. Doing no small part to what you've accomplished out here. We've launched five Daedalus-class ships in the last two years alone. There actually is a fleet forming out there. It's isn't not bad, considering how old the game is. It actually Star looks fairly decent. Becoming a reality. Pretty soon you won't need my little ship anymore. Not true. In fact, I need you for a delicate assignment. Delicate? The Vulcans have requested this mission. Vulcans? Come on, Reggie. We both know how these things turn out. Now, before you get in an uproar, I have good reason to send you. You've got more experience dealing with Vulcans than any other ship commander. You also have more combat time. All right, this sounds bad. Combat experience? It's a precaution. They've requested help from Starfleet to track down one of their scientists, who's apparently gone missing. With them as a major ally, we really must assist. The Vulcans have ships. Why do they need ours? Oh, come on, John. Ooh, it's dangerous it's out It's going to be close. We're more capable of dealing with any trouble that might come up. Starfleet can get off oh. on the right foot if we can handle this for the ball. He buzzed the NX-01 to send, didn't he? Orders are orders. I'll do my part. Just make sure my helmsman gets all the information we need to begin this search. I don't want to get blindsided by lack of information from them, as usual. Shout out to Goku, 5212. I hope we don't regret this. Missions involving Vulcans usually mean one thing. Trouble. This is the last known position of the Vulcan science ship. We're not getting anything on initial Ooh, scans, I'm on the NX -01. but we should take a more detailed look through the system. Let's start by getting a close-range scan of that nearby planet. Check for any signs of wreckage. Okay, scan the nearby planet. Fairly straightforward. Enterprise on station. Let's to look around. Straight forward. Okay. Full impulse engage. Order acknowledged. Course set, Captain. Okay, that's straightforward. Hi, Captain. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
Sensors? No signs of wreckage on the surface. We'll do a standard sweep of the system, starting with that ring of asteroids surrounding the ice planet nearest our position. Once within range, we'll scan for debris. The ship could be among the asteroids, or might have been destroyed by them. It's entirely possible that they lost power and were in distress. Yeah. Okay, I've got that. You can go away now. There we go. Do, 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 do. It's back. Okay. So that moves around. That zooms around. Yeah. Okay. That's straightforward enough. I want to go to that planet. I want to go to this planet. That's not planet to sun. Course set, Captain. Hi, Captain. What's speed ahead? Oh, whizzing along. Looks like we flush some game out of the rocks. Be prepared. These Romulans are nasty business. We're opening a channel. Romulan vessels. We are engaged in search and rescue operations. Please state the nature of your presence here. That seems clear enough. Take evasive action and prepare to engage. We're gonna have to fight our way out of this. How to do that? Shields. Captain, enemy shields are down. Pansies. Remaining vessels are disengaging. What oh, in what blazes were they doing here? Romulans are in the exact same place we have no to be looking for a missing Vulcan ship. Good. Seems par for the course. They might have destroyed the Vulcan vessel, but until we either find the ship or its debris, we won't know for certain. Continue the search deeper into the system. We're picking up some strange readings from that nebula. Could be high band emissions occurring naturally, but we should check it out just to be safe. Course laid in. Controls not responding. This is a protostellar nebula containing high level of particle flux. We won't be able to stay inside it indefinitely. Let's keep this search brief. Wait. Starfleet transponder. We're picking up a beacon. There must be another Starfleet ship in the area. Proceed inside. Head directly for the beacon signal.
Enterprise. Are we glad to see you? Rick, is that you? It is. I diverted course to this system to respond to a general distress call and was ambushed by Romulan ships. They outnumbered us, and I was forced to take refuge here when my warp engines were damaged. Why didn't you contact Starfleet? We couldn't get a message out. Scans and subspace signals seem to be hampered by the magnetic fields here. We barely made it to the safety of the nebula before its ion interference disabled our impulse drive. We've got the engines repaired, but we can't re-engage the core matrix until we've cleared the interference within the nebula. It seems to dampen our efforts to reinitiate the power flow to our engines. Stand by. We'll tow you out so you can get your engines back online. Make it fast, Jonathan. Our hull plating is already corroded to dangerous levels. Okay. Tractor beam. Gates tractor beam. So there's like space in that direction. Course laid in. Come on. Oh, she's heavy to tug. Come on. Only 73. It's not over 100 before. Must have left the handbrake on. Bloody Sulu. And Sulu's not in this one. Sulu's in the other one. Who's at the helm of Enterprise again? Ah, uh, someone will tell me when the video goes up. Excellent. That's done the trick. Our engine course is back online. Great news, Rick. Our Romulan friends have returned. You have to admire their sense of time. Now let's see if we can't give a little of what we've been taking. Okay, can I just, uh, flank? Setting course now. Setting course now. In phaser range, Captain. That was... Close. Fire photon torpedoes, damn it. Captain, enemy shields are down. Combined with the corrosive effects of the nebula's particle flux, have dealt a good deal of damage to our systems. Let's hold position here until my engineering teams have effected repairs. I'd advise your engineers to do the same, just in case there are any more surprises waiting for us out here. Who's the other guy? I don't even know where the other guy is. Oh, wait. Did he? Nope, that's another moon. Okay, no, there's another one that's set There it is. Our systems now register green across the board. We're ready to continue the search. Rick, 
That distress signal you were responding to, did you happen to notice if it was Vulcan? Now that you mention it, it did have the same carrier wave amplitude the Vulcans use. That means the ship we were dispatched to locate may be the same one that sent the distress call. What was your last bearing on the signal? Before we lost contact in the nebula, it was directly behind that dead moon. I'm transmitting the coordinates to your helm. Acknowledged. That's our next stop. Objective achieved. It's going to be under... Setting course now. Do I want to do warp? Enterprise on station. Engaging warp drive. We've left the nebula, Captain. This is the Vulcan science vessel, Soleil, to any friendly ships in the vicinity. We are under attack by Romulan aggressors and require assistance. Vulcan ship Soleil. This is the Starfleet vessel, Enterprise. We are here to render aid. Certainly a fortuitous bit of timing, Enterprise. We are transmitting our coordinates to you now. We can cover the distance faster if we transfer all power to the engines. Full power. Polarize whole plate. We've detected Romulan warships. Enterprise on station. Order acknowledged. Controls not responding. Enterprise to Romulan ships. Cease your attack or we will open fire. As usual, the Romulans don't respond. Doesn't seem like they would have talked, Jonathan. Suits me fine. A little more reciprocity for their earlier greeting would be grand. Agreed. All ships, engage the Romulans and protect the Soleil. Shields are down. Rather than target destroyed.
Get me out, you bastard. Thanks for harming me. Like that. Then, I'm bucking on torpedoes. Enemy shields are down. There is no escape for you. Target destroyed. Says the person blowing up. what's your status? We are well for the moment, Captain. We extend our gratitude for your timely rescue. No need. We were sent to find you. Just glad to see you're all right. Sent? By whom? The Vulcan government asked us to locate you and bring you back. Ah, not a bad game so far. How so? I would say their request for my retrieval is what you would call a euphemism. Is there something you want to tell me? I'm sorry, what is your name? I am Terrell, Commander Terrell. Commander Terrell, what exactly am I doing out here? Can you shed any light on why I was sent for you? The Vulcan High Command does not approve of my research, nor do they wish me to succeed where so many others have failed. I see. And what exactly is your research? My work extends to the beginnings of our Vulcan path toward logic. I am a seeker of past truth. An archaeologist? Of sorts. Captain, I believe it would be enlightening if you would make your way to my research outpost. I'm under orders to bring you safely back to Vulcan. I don't want to know why, why but I really don't outpost? trust this pointy ape. I fear my research Vulcan. team may be discovered by the same Romulans who followed and attacked my ship. The loss of any further life would be most regrettable. All right, we'll follow you back to your outpost. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. But we must be swift, Commander Terrell. There's no telling how many other Romulan ships may be in the area. We couldn't agree more, Captain. This will take but a short time, I assure really you. Really cannot be a good thing that my ship is glowing like that. Ooh, mission successful. I guess that's the end of the first level. Sweet. Next mission. Um, guess so. Um. Okay, what's this? At least the ships I can buy, are they? Oh, yes, please. I apologize. Alright, well, that ends video one. Um, I'm assuming the next level's coming up, so I shall catch you then. I apologize if it was boring. Uh, I know I didn't really say that much until we were fighting, but it's the first level, it's a bit boring. Hopefully the story gets it more interesting as well, so... Anyway, see you in the next video.